Yo, what's happening guys? Coming at you from downforsoundshop.com. In this video, we're gonna be going over why it's a good idea to have the sufficient amount of battery power for your system. Well, the biggest thing is your battery power is usually your reserve power or your bank of electricity that your amplifier is gonna be drawing from. Um, your initial source of power is gonna come from your alternator and your alternator usually fills up your battery bank and then from there it goes to your amplifier so when your amplifiers start pulling power initially it's from your alternator power but once you surpass your alternator's output capability you fall back onto your battery reserve or uh, yeah your battery reserve and the the further you fall back into it the more you're depending on your battery bank so uh this will obviously range very widely depending on the size of your system because if you're just running like say a couple thousand watts you need a something that'll deal with that or three thousand watts you could do something like a lto 6.0 if you're wanting to uh, run a lithium battery or for similar power you could do something like the d3400 if you don't want to venture over into the lithium even though i think a lot of people are learning that Lithium is way safer than it used to be, and a lot of people are using it because it's a lot, obviously, smaller and lighter. If we're going up into bigger power ranges, such as like 5,000 watts or 8,000 watts, 10,000 watts, then you're gonna have to start increasing your battery bank or reserve a lot because the power draw that you're creating is a lot more substantial than like a 2,000 watt amp or a 3,000 watt amp. So you're going to want to start multiplying your battery bank and also if you can get more alternators on your vehicle you're going to want to start doing that too all the way up until you get to something like Montajo is a very extreme like totally opposite side of somebody running an lto 6.0 in their vehicle so on somebody on the smaller side can have something like this somebody on the bigger side like Montajo, it will have a I think it's around 1200 amp hours of lithium um, power in the back of those. Those are the yin long cells. A lot of people call them yin long cells, but that's not correct. There's no G on the end of there, so it's yin long cells. Um, but they're LTO cells as well. Uh, and we have a ton of them in there because we have nine JP83s in there. So that's a massive amount of current draw coming from that. So if, if you're looking to do, let's say if you're gonna do like a single uh, JP93 or something like that, you could get by with um, an XS Power XMAX 90. Uh, if you're doing two of the JP93s, you could do two XMAX 90s and then you just like keep building it out from there. If you're wanting to stick with AGM power, you it requires a ton of these batteries to do the same exact thing. So if you're wanting to use AGMs like the D3400, you would need like, five to seven of these to do the same thing as the x max 90 so uh that's there's so many variables and so many different um ways of going about doing it but that's kind of uh a few different scenarios there one on the very like lower side one in the middle and then in my tahoe is the very high side of that but you always want to make sure you have proper battery reserve because once your alternators can't handle the load created by your amplifiers it falls back on your batteries so if you're looking for awesome suggestions on what you should be running obviously down for sound batteries or excess power batteries is going to be your number one options to go with you which are obviously available on downforsoundshop.com home of the down for sound difference guaranteed lowest prices fastest shipping and best customer service see you in the next one later guys if y'all enjoyed all the hot content that you saw in that video be sure to follow me on youtube facebook tiktok instagram under the life of price and also down for sound shop on facebook and instagram and don't forget snapchat i'm jpd4s on there so be sure to check me out there we'll see you in the next one later